For now on a tragic story we brought you yesterday about three-year-old Martin Kudlis who died when an illegal immigrant crashed an SUV into a truck. That smashed into an ice cream shop, killing the little boy. He'd just gone out to get some dessert with his dad. Two women who were also in the truck were killed as well. This guy, Guatemalan national Francis Hernandez, is the suspect. Not only is he in the country illegally, he has a long rap sheet, 16 arrests. And the people of Aurora, Colorado, are outraged that he was still on the streets. Police say they had told immigration officials Hernandez was here illegally as far back as April, but the feds didn't do anything about it. Detective Bob Friel of the Aurora Police Department joins us now. Detective Friel, was it your department that notified uh, the Immigration and Customs uh, Service about that? It, good morning, John. Uh, yes, it was through our partners. It was the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office. Uh, the Mr. Hernandez was transferred immediately over to the county jail. This was back in April? Yes, back in April. And what was he and, picked up uh, on? And notification was made uh, from the jail to ICE, is my understanding. But ICE never called you back? We did not get a response from ICE. Uh, there were questions concerning his immigration status, and uh, when he was transferred over to the county jail, uh, there was notification made to ICE, and unfortunately there was no uh, response. Well, how does it work uh, in Colorado, or really in all of the states, if you pick somebody up and you suspect that they might be here illegally, are you allowed to just pick up the phone and call the federal government? It's really that easy. Uh, state law requires that if we have probable cause, if we believe that somebody is an illegal immigrant who's in our custody, we're to contact ICE. Uh, this is a very simple thing to do. And uh, last year alone, in 2007, we did that over 2,500 times. So do you have any idea why the federal agency didn't, didn't respond to the, the concerns about this guy? He'd been arrested, what, eight times already? John, I can't tell you um, for sure. I know that he's been on the radar screen for local law enforcement since 2003. The cops have been doing their job of locking this guy up, albeit for minor offenses, but 16 times, as you mentioned in your program, he has been picked up by police. I think the local law enforcement is doing their job with respect to Mr. Hernandez. Where the ball got dropped is regarding his immigration status, and that is not uh, an issue for local law enforcement. When he was driving uh, at the time that this accident occurred, this latest accident that killed the little boy, uh, the word was that he had had a driver's license, but it had been revoked. Is that accurate? Uh, right now, our investigation is showing that he never had a valid driver's license. Um, there may be more information to come in the future. Well, yeah, that, that's point. what I was wondering, uh, because uh, in Colorado, do you, are you allowed to get uh, a driver's license if you're not uh, a legal resident or a legal U.S. citizen? Uh, John, I'm not familiar with what's required by Department of Motor Vehicles uh, for proof of citizenship and, and what needs to be provided to obtain a driver's license. Um, what I can tell you is that our investigation has shown that he did not have a driver's license at any time. Well, it's just, you know, again, another one of those awful stories where a, a guy who shouldn't have been here and shouldn't have been driving, and, and now three people are dead, including that little boy, as a result of that, or so it would seem. You know, John, I, I just want to say that, you know, our heart breaks for these families. Uh, we have met with them. We met with Martin's family just yesterday. Mm -hmm. The chief of police and our victim services unit were with the family providing support, trying to do everything we can because you know, I'm a parent as well, and, uh, you know, our hearts just grieve for these families. It's really an awful, awful story. Detective Bob Friel, Aurora Police in Colorado. Thank you. Thank you. Well, we just saw a